Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Fantastic Four, issue number nine. This was a pretty good book. It wasn't like, you know, oh my God, but like it did end on a pretty damn good note. And again, if I'm going to be consistent, that is the way that you do a story arc. Even if it's not so great in the beginning or the middle, as long as the end sticks it, all right, we're good. We're good. So I am counting this as a whole arc, <laughs> this particular issue. It's, it's it's part of that whole arc. It's the end of that whole arc. I like the way it ended. By the way, um, what a, just really quick, um, Christopher Gian, uh, G, Giacinti and uh, Hue We Arts Dink did this beautiful variant cover, man. This is the um, Marvel Strike Force cover. Yeah, this is a gorgeous guy. I don't know if you guys play that game or that app or whatnot. USA Cali team represent. But um, this, is, this is a beautiful cover, man. And, you know, just advertising that game. Gorgeous. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. Let's talk about the rest of, you know, the people who made this book. We got Outside the Box, Dan Slott is the writer. Aaron Cooter, Stefano Caselli, and Paco Medina are on art. Eric Arce, uh, Arseniega. I can't remember how to pronounce his name. Arcanega. Um, he does the colors and VCs Joe Caramagna on letters. He said Rivik does the main cover and you got a whole bunch of people doing variant covers, including this gorgeous one in my hands. And of course, the Fantastic Four was created by Jack freaking Kirby and Stan freaking Lee. All right. So <laughs> the, um, the Fantastic Four is all able to escape from the death trap and it's cool the way that they did it. Um, they did escape. What's more cool, what's cooler, is Sue Storm explaining it as it's happening, because Doom is right there. You get to see her not only make his uh, armor invisible so that everybody in the world can see it, and that's Doom's own fault. That's his pride getting to him. Like, she she played him straight. Um, but more than that, it's that she um, she like makes his his hands invisible, his arms invisible. Because each time that he's trying to put his hands in front of his face, she makes them invisible, so you can still see his face. It's like f you, Doom, f you. Um, this was really good. This is a good way to beat him. Of course, you know, uh, according to Jack Kirby, he just had a scar on his lip. Uh, his, like, like, I think it was his bottom lip or something like that, whatever it was, a scar on his chin, basically. That was his interpretation of it, but, you know, Stanley had more ideas. More than that, even after he was completely healed, after the, um, events towards the end of the, what was it, the Invincible Doctor Doom, Irredeemable Iron Man, that's what it was, Irredeemable Iron Man, he, um, no, it was something else, whatever, who cares? It was a good book until the end. It wasn't quite that great. That last issue was funny with Mephisto, though. Anyhow, um, yeah, he wound up blowing himself up again. <laughs> he wound up getting blown up by somebody. What was it like the Wingless Wizard or something like that? Or freaking... Anyway, um, the, the, the Red Hood. Somebody. Somebody blew him up. Um, it was all kind of a blur because it happened really quickly because uh, Brian Michael Bendis was leaving Marvel and you know, hightailing it over to, um, to DC. So psh, there's that. But, um, now with this much uglier version of Dr. Doom, he has every reason to be embarrassed. Yeah, this was good. Plus him playing on, uh, plus Slot was really playing up his ego because while you, maybe many people might think he doesn't care what other people think. The fact is Doom totally cares what other people think. So seeing people pitying him on Earth and in other planets saying, Psh, we have nothing to fear from this pitiful, you know, Earthling. Uh, Slot had mentioned that this was going to turn into something that was going to be a permanent FU to the Fantastic Four from this point on. And that was definitely it. Uh, Doom is now going to do everything within his power to murder the freaking Fantastic Four. I don't even think Valeria getting in between re or between um, uh, Sue and and Doctor Doom is going to do much to save her life at this point. He's mad at all of them. He's especially pissed at Sue, and uh, you can see why. This comic book really did like it doesn't change anything that happened before. A whole bunch of silly stuff and whatnot. Um, not, whatever, whatever. I mean, you know what? I stand by what I've said, okay? That there was a lot of silliness and it was unnecessary, some of that stuff that happened in the uh, beginning of this arc. But this issue, 
It's a really damn good way to finish it off. I really did love this. And you notice he didn't need Jim Zub's help <laughs> for this. He's like, get out of here, Zub. <laughs> Zub's like, fine, but I'll be back. And he will be, apparently. He, uh, Zub will be back to help out with stuff. We got War of Realms in the next issue, and I am seriously looking forward to it. The art in this book, pretty damn spectacular. Um, it wasn't like every single panel was amazing. No, the panels that needed to be amazing really were. And the ones that could just, you know, flip by because you're just reading and there's the action and it's, you're not going to, you ever notice you don't really linger too much over the action scenes, the art in the action scenes, because it's like, eh, you know what I'm saying? You, you try to read, you're trying to get the story, you're trying to move on, right? You linger too much, it slows down the adrenaline rush. So those panels, you go back and look at them slowly after the fact and you realize, wow, that really... That really was drawn fast. It was drawn like, you know, let's get this out of the way until we can get to a good splash page, which is like, ho, 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 ho. That's where the O-Face shows up. <laughs> there, there were a couple of O-Face moments in here with the art. Fantastic. So this, yeah, this really was a good book. I really did enjoy this. And again, just, man, that is one hell of a cover, man. That is one hell of a cover. Uh, if you guys are going to be playing Marvel uh, Strike Force, you know, um, I'm happy to kick your butt. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.